You know, I don't feel sorry for you, Pearl. Get away from me. Stop pressing your wrinkly body up against mine. Stop trying to make me have sex with you. I will not do it. I will not. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. A little advice before I start this. If you ever come across an old couple, a guy that looks like he's from the Hills Have Eyes with a shotgun and talks like this, hey, get off my brain, stay away. If you ever want to shoot a porn film, and you want to rent a property out. And it's out in the middle of nowhere. And you think you're going to rent the house out. But you actually get the barn. Which is converted into a house. Stay away. Even if it reminds you of the evil dead cabin. Stay away for sure. If you run across a 90 year old woman. Walking around in her nightgown touching herself stay away she will try to seduce you she will touch you in bad places I'm not going to take it I'm not going to take that I'm scarred for life I will never look at another female body the same now that I've seen that today I'm going to talk about a movie that came out in 2022, and it's definitely one of my favorite horror films of that year, X, directed by Ty West, Dying to Show You a Good Time. We have Mia Goth, Jenna Ortega, Brittany Snow. I haven't seen Brittany Snow in anything for a while. This film really surprised me. I think it surprised a lot of people because if you ask pretty much anybody about what they thought of X, they will say that they enjoyed it. Um, is it the best horror movie I've ever seen? No. But I think it is... I don't want to say it's original, but it does take some things from, like, let's say, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and, and, and other films. The house actually looks like it when you walk into the, the front door there. There's, like, the staircase and stuff. It actually looks like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, in, the inside, from the original 74 version. But uh, basically, this story is about you got a group of actors who are trying to make a porn film in rural Texas. And they try to rent out this house to do that, but they don't tell this elderly couple about uh, what they're doing. They're just, you know, basically renting it out. Um, this couple seems, you know, the man who actually answers the door, he seems weird, but at the same time, you don't really feel like anything's off about him other than he's just a cranky old man. Um, but they start to film the scenes for their porn video and this elderly couple, they soon find out what they're doing and everything just goes to hell after that. <laughs> um, this elderly couple is really not who they say they are. Uh, and there's something about them that is just sadistic. I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I really, like, you feel for a lot of the characters. Some of the characters you don't. Like, I thought Jenna Ortega's character was a little wasted. I didn't really care for her character that much. Uh, but the guy who did the he had the camera, the cameraman. I kind of felt for him after this one scene uh, where his girlfriend is is wanting to shoot uh, a scene in the porn film, and she's not supposed to do that. She's basically an equipment person. Uh, but I felt bad for that guy. But, like, there's a lot of nudity and sex in this. Um, Mia Goth, 
has always been one of my crushes. I think she's gorgeous. Um, she has really nice lips. I love her lips. Um, but uh, yeah, the, she <laughs> gets fully naked in this. Brittany Snow even gets naked in this. And I didn't think I'd ever see that. I don't know if she's gotten naked in other movies, but to see Brittany Snow in this naked, I'm just like, what? I didn't, you know, she was in the Prom Night remake. I didn't think she would ever do a role like this. But yeah, like, there's sex, there's nudity, there's, um, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, so these, these, these people rent out this, this uh, house, and the house is kind of run down and all that. It's kind of off away from the bigger house. And there's this elderly lady in the upstairs bedroom who keeps looking at Mia Goth's character, Maxine. And it's like she's trying to communicate with with her, but you know, she keeps appearing here and there. She's like all old and fragile, and she's just walking really slow. And um so like eventually the old woman sees them shooting a porn scene and this old woman gets like, she gets turned on. She goes to her husband, which is the older guy. And she's like, I want you to say that you love me. And like, am I enough for you? And stuff like that. And the guy's like, Oh, I can. He's like my heart, my heart condition. It's like, really? I, I like, honestly, when I look at him, I don't think about the heart condition. I think how, about the fact that you look like that guy from the Hills Have Ice. Honestly, you look like Sloth from the Goonies. You look like you've been dropped on your head a few times. Um, that's not what I was thinking about your heart. I was thinking about your face. But anyway, I don't see how she could have got turned on by that. But you can see, like, here's the thing. The old lady is supposed to be Pearl. Now, Pearl gets her own story in the next movie. And it because it's an origin story, but I really kind of feel for Pearl a little bit because, you know, just because you're older doesn't mean that your sex drive should stop. I feel like I feel like maybe some couples lose that, but as you're older, you know, things are harder to do. But I kind of felt a little bad for her. But then she just goes crazy. She starts to kill people one by one. Um, and so this elderly couple kind of works together. I think his name's Howard, the the husband. But anyway, Pearl and Howard, like they're they're basically killing these people off one by one. Now here's the thing about Mia Goth in this movie, she doesn't really I don't want to say she really doesn't do much. Um she's not really kind of she's not really like a final girl. I didn't really feel like she did that much to I mean she saves like Jenna Ortega's character um but I didn't I didn't really feel like she you know she just basically ran away she runs over um I don't want to give away the ending but like she she does I guess she does a couple of things <laughs> there's this one funny part I laugh <laughs> every time I see it every time uh, Pearl, she's an older lady, obviously. She gets the shotgun and she points it and she shoots the shotgun. She <laughs> when she shoots it, you know, it cocks her back and she goes flying out the door. <laughs> it's just the way it's shot. The camera's right there. She's like, boom, and she goes flying back. And um, yeah, that's that's a. <laughs> That's a funny scene. Um, the guy who steps on the nail, that really got me. I mean, it reminded me, I, th I thought that was even worse than in Home Alone when, you know, Mars steps on the nail um, going up the steps. Like this, this nails, you know, he steps, he just like, boom, and it just goes all the way through. Oh, man, that scene really got me. The gore in this and the uh, the kills are pretty good. I, I thought the gore was really good. Um, but, you know, it really kind of focuses on the older couple a little bit more. Like you, you kind of feel like you just kind of feel for them, especially the old lady, you, you feel for her. Um, but yeah, th this is your typical, I mean, I guess it's like your typical slasher, but at the same time, it's got some vibes of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 
you know, farmhouse, uh, crazy people, um, you know, Mia Goth's character running, trying to get away, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like this movie's really good. I was really surprised by it. Um, yeah, so it's just like every horror movie, you know, you got the sex, the nudity, the the kills, um, just it has it all. So I really enjoyed this for the year 2022. And uh, yeah, so what did you guys think of X? Um, did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know. Uh, and again, if you ever come across some old couple like that, stay away or get yourself something to defend yourself with because uh yeah this will do the job maybe thank you for watching this i'll see you guys in the next video